All right, so I'm getting some video here. Hopefully I can uh, keep you rolling with some audio. I have my earbuds in, but we've had, I think we have a cab cut CAG coming in. We've had some low, low passes with the freaking jets turned down toward the ground. So, you know, somebody's always got to announce their little tiny baby nets coming into town. Anyways, I am over here. I've got the home course. I kind of kicked it out a little bit. If you see the red parts, are not penalty zones those are drop zones so if you hit those red marks it's more than points it's like you got to restart these ones i just have in the way here um, they're stackable you can kind of move stuff around so you know you can call it penalty zone drop zone whatever you want to call it but it kind of works to say okay that's a drop that you can come off that's a drop you know don't hit that spot here's one in the middle maybe there's a um a total drop a total crease in there there's one off on that side. Just theorizing. So this can be moved around any old way. I mean, you can make it almost impassable. You can make it comp style. It's pretty easy to do with the stack up. But we have the DRLX, DRXL here. If you notice, you might see my shadow a little bit. Um, I was trying to get some good overcast. I would have went, off, went on a walk. My mom's actually here hanging out. And uh, my son's home. So I was like, eh, I'll go out and play. And then I thought, and I got a lot of work to do. I don't want so this thing is almost stock. Okay. So we'll go over what's not stock. Obviously the wheels and tires. This is a tried and true um, incision wheels, $50 a set with uh, crawler innovations foams on the inside, axial racing BFG crawlers, and some cool Faldi Design Works rings. I've actually got a piece of these that I need to put on with all other wheels. Everything. Again, this is a tried and true set. This set has been on numerous vehicles. The last was on the It was on the future. But before that, it did 150 miles. On, uh, maybe more. No, 167 miles. This is a, uh, oh wait, could have been flat there, so I tired of it. So it lets you know how much throttle you're putting down. It takes complaining. There's people that live here. Not just the people who settled here are playing here, they're playing here. There's indigenous people here. And so when people say, you know, oh, if you don't like it, then move. It's like, I'm sorry, my indigenous ties are here. My genetics are tied to this place. That's kind of rude to say stuff like that to people and not realize, well, wait a minute. Would you say that to somebody if they're, suddenly there's a naval base put in by their family farms? And they've been there for you know two three hundred years and would you say well if you don't like it then move it's like it's kind of cool how, how uncool is that think about where people have to live just like our rocks we go out there and we got to take care of our rocks take care of our places we don't the moment somebody screws up you know who they really see first well first is usually the people driving fast then it's the people who are out there recreationally you know doing stuff that isn't the norm something that you can see it's very visible this is very visible doing out on trail you know when you see people walking with the dog you notice that and you notice that their dog isn't on a leash you notice that you go, Wait, that's not a dog oh 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 i tied in i hit the, the no go so we've got to be really cautious about what we do on trail how we kind of conduct ourselves i'm not going to tell you how to live your life but it's kind of a consideration now, this is a full body truck. You can see the bumper goes all the way to the end of the body. Now, I'm practicing uh, for another full body truck. I may kind of build here and there, but I've been having hand issues man. You notice I haven't really built anything in the last year. It's all been ready to run and kind of bolted on. This is why. Because I can actually go 
and just drive these trucks and not have to keep building them. I'm not out there racing. I'm not out there, you know, oh man, it's a hard spot. Uh, JRH, Mr. John, Ron Ho John Rob Holmes has a spot like this on his little course, on his home course. And it's just like this where you kind of pass over a bit of an overhang on a rock and come into some different obstacles. And I notice it kind of changes every now and then their top does, but just as a test, I saw that and went, well, you know what? Oh, we popped it. So anyways, yeah, just a couple little things. I'm really liking this truck. It's giving me a good opportunity to train for something much heavier and much more scale. Um, when you talk about white, uh, excuse me, weight, the old configuration on the Scout 19 Wraith was probably about the same weight as the BS410. Um, but it was distributedly different, di excuse me, distributed differently because the cage, it actually had a steel cage, not just a plastic Wraith cage. So yeah, it's a different situation and it's different weights and people have their preferences and I just like to drive whatever I got. If I want to make it look more realistic, it's going to go heavier. This right now has a very good low uh, weight pattern and it's a little bit wider with the hubs. Those are actually the stock plastic hubs um, on those incision wheels. So it's not any wider than they come out of the, you know, basically out of the bag. You kind of got to assemble. But this thing is, you know, it's got very, very, very few additions to it. Uh, let's see, the wheels and tires. Sorry about that, I forgot the list. Wheels and tires. Um, I put a BRXL in there, a used one with a, uh, let's see, Castle of External BC. A little clip that moves along for that stock motor. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, what the? All the uh, wordy made stuff bumpers, sliders. Now, you might see I did bend that uh, slider on there. That was my fault. Um, I jammed it in really hard on some Tufa, and if anybody knows how Tufa works, it's nothing but grip. It's even worse than um, your uh, decomposed granite, like out at uh, Moon Rocks. Worse. If you're not careful, you not just break stuff, you tweak stuff. I bent trucks on Tufa. You gotta be kind of careful on the stuff that you're in. And yeah, I did bend the, edge, the outside of that slider. Now, it's just the outside. It's actually a smaller diameter, too, um, that's on there. It's a really cool scale detail. And uh, what else do we have? Bumper sliders, light. That's an old gearhead light, actually. Uh, LED lights in the body, uh, wheels and tires, and that's it. It's a stock motor. It's working well enough right now. I'm not worried about it. Um, eventually, I do want to put a, I think a 13 turn Crawlmaster. Um, I was looking at the Crawlmaster Sports also. I believe they have a 10 turn. Um, I don't know. I, I really like that that five slot though. Uh, the stock one is well enough for what this is, but oh, man, just that little bit more control. You add one thing or another. Radio, ESC, motor. You can vary your control through whichever one. So this one I actually went for the ESC. Stock radio was fine. Stock motor to me felt good enough. It was the ESC that just was equal power, forward and reverse. And um, when you would transition to reverse, man, that thing would just crank out backwards. So, um, yeah, stock motor, no big deal. Uh, I will have to put some inner fender wells in um, before it gets too wet. And then uh, I'd love to do an interior. I don't think I'm going to change the body. I wanted to put a... Um, FJ40 on here. I might still, but for right now, this is cool. I'll beat it up, see where it gets me past the end of this year. I and I really might, or heaven forbid, I find another scout body. You know, um, no, nah, that's it. So next year, yeah, that's my goal. I believe I do want a, a VS410 next year, um, but I think I'll just go ahead and it's going to be a while because I'm going to do the whole thing brand new. Um, It'll be my first time doing that in a very, 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 very long time. But it's not going to be done immediately. It'll probably be done towards the end of the year. So 
I'm not in any hurry. Everything in it's going to be brand new. I'm not going to even mess around this time. Uh, I'll just have to choose tires, which kind of got an idea. Um, think, pick a paint scheme. Do the building, you know. Play with it on the table for a few months while it comes together. You know how it goes. You know, I'll, I'll get in a hurry at one point. I'll go stop, do this, do that. Plus, I mean, it's not like I don't have trucks. We've got 219 race back there. We've got the Gen 8 I still got to fix. We've got this. And creature, which is going to get some different wheels and tires here pretty soon. So, anyways, I don't know. I don't know if anybody, anybody even watches these things. I'm going to post a shorter video um, here in a minute for Instagram. And I think that's it. So, I'll go upload this one pretty soon. I'll catch you all later.